Welcome to the Spinner Rack with your hosts, Brian and Junior. And welcome back to the Spinner Rack, issue 44. I'm your host, BB Brian Adams. Joining me this week, my co host, Junior Ruiz, host of Breaking the Fourth Wall at ComicsRemix.com. How are you doing this week, Junior? I'm alright. I, I just, I'm good. You're good? Mm hmm. You're okay? I'm full. You're full. But actually, yet I still have room for more sweets. Okay. Okay, when I have for, for sweets? There's always room for sweets. That's the problem. Yeah. 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 But uh, so this week, issue 44, we're going to bust into... Uh, 44 for our SAP uh, listeners. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> we're going to bust into the DC rumored movies. The, not rumored, the what? It's, it's, it's oh, scheduled. the rumored movies. And it's not a rumor anymore, right? They've come out and said this is what they're trying to do. Yeah. And I have no idea. I heard about it two weeks ago. I never read the list. I look at it this way. If We're nobody's talking to me, people. if nobody at the shop is talking to me about it, or if it's not like, um, you know, all over the place and people are everywhere talking about it, then we can talk about it. It's still, you know, it's still relevant. Yeah, it's still fresh. It's just got out in there into the ether for everyone to be like, oh. Stop stalling, man. Everybody bitching about, I'm not stalling. I, I'm, I'm checking this out a little bit. I haven't, I haven't read anything about it, so I'm like sitting here right now actually reading about it. So I don't even know the movies outside of Batman versus Superman. Mm-hmm. I guess that's really the first one we could talk about because that's the actual one that's going to come out. I think we've covered that one enough. Uh, have we? Have we really talked about who the cast? Oh, the cast? No, no. that's what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm not okay. just talking about our personal feelings about it. Because well, I know we've talked we about the, the Batman costume. and I haven't talked about the Batman costume. Yes, we did. Did we? Mm hmm. I don't remember that. Yes, we did. It's all the plants you uh, you water. It, it could be. I, I do quite a bit of gardening. Yes. But, uh, <laughs> so they put out a lot of the cast now, uh, which I actually have some of the cast here. I was kind of surprised. Obviously, you know, you got Henry Cavill coming back as, as Superman, mm-hmm. Amy Adams, Lois Lane, Batman, Bruce Wayne. Maybe ben Affleck. Get any Bruce Wayne? Ben Affleck. Of course yeah. you're going to get a Bruce Wayne. Well, are you going to see him? I mean, it, it, it just seems it like won't so be much Bruce Wayne. Me. It won't be Bruce like, are Wayne they heavy. Sh- I mean... I don't really see... Put it this know. way. How, with gonna, the announcement... It, it, it seems like a lot to, to do. Put it this way. With, with Transformers 4, Age of Extinction, running damn near three, three hours. hours. Yeah, I know. They're all getting like Lord of the Rings with it and shit. Hey, fucking more money. like, it's the Hobbit, bitch. More for my money. You know, man, my ass can't take fucking that, that long in the theater. I can. It's That's preparation. A, it's a long time. Not preparation H, just preparation. Just preparation. You gotta be prepared, man. Yeah. Don't overdo it with the snacks and the soda. Just go and... Just don't eat. You can eat, but just eat earlier, you know. Don't drink. Don't over fucking do it like I just did. I mean I'm not hurting or nothing. So anyway, you know, we've got the returning people we know of, Ben Affleck Batman, Diane Lane they have actually on IMDB listed as being in it, which I guess yeah, it is a Superman movie, so Mark Ma Kent will be in it. Jesse Eisenberg Eisenberg, Lex Luthor, which I saw a blurb somewhere about him being more like a young, hip kind of techie kind of guy. Blah. As opposed to blah. I say blah. I'm yeah. not excited for this movie. I've said no. it. I've said it on Breaking the Fourth Wall. I've said it on this a couple times. I'm just not excited Nothing for it. Nothing excites you at all. I, no, not, not at all. What excites me isn't that movie. Um, I just know that they were saying a lot of the characters that they're casting are just cameos. You know, so, I mean, if they're just going to be small cameos, then, okay, I could see how they can cram all of this stuff in there. You know, I sat back when we talked about Amazing Spider-Man 2. You know, you see the, the trailers for it with all oh, these yeah. villains. It looked like but it then, a hot mess. Yeah, but then when you watch it, they spread it pretty good, you know? It was, it was well um, executed. So, with Batman versus Superman, like I said, it, to me, they're casting all these guys because they're going to say, well, if this movie... You know, they're, they're trying to test the waters for the Justice League. They try to cram all these movies in there, all these characters, excuse me, in there. And people are like, that movie sucked. Now they okay. can look at it as Justice League won't work, or, well, we still have Justice League to save our ass. This is my whole problem with Warner Brothers slash DC, and I know we've been over this many times many. in the past, is that it's proven waters. It's proven. You know Justice League's going to do Look at what fucking Avengers did. You know Justice League will make money. Even Not, if it I, It won't make Avengers money, I don't think. Because, no. look... You, with and you Avengers? know what? It might, Junior. It might. Yeah. Justice League was a big cartoon in the 90s. 
a lot of those people are our age now. Yeah, but you, you know, know, you also got to get the money from we the got charity. kids. You want to go take them out? The, you got to think about it from the the every day, not the everyday, the but toys like, sell. No, 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 no. I don't want to talk about toys right now because then I'm gonna get mad that I'm I, not talking about toys. I'm just saying. Well, you mentioned you have to admit that part of this movie machine is toys. What's the well, the of course, and Mattel. Too. No, Mattel's toys suck. Um, except WWE. I love WWE. But um, what's the fucking word? Casual. There you go. Casual moviegoers. Okay. When they heard the reviews for the first Iron Man, of course, they're like, oh, okay. They checked it out. They were drawn in. And every movie gave you bigger uh, a piece to the puzzle. Oh, you knew the finished puzzle was going to be Avengers. So you want, you were anticipating it. You're like, yes, okay, yes. So now, if they do Justice League, I have a feeling they're going to fucking do it ass backwards. Especially if I'm correct, they have Justice League as one of the earlier movies as opposed to one of the later movies. On that list, am I correct? Uh, I believe so, but continue with what you're saying, and I'll, I'll let you know. Why? They're going to give us everything right off the bat. You know what I'm saying? That's like Marvel would be like, here's your Avengers movie, now we're going to split it up. Would you really have been as as vested in it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, the build-up was you knew Avengers was coming, so every movie made you want to see it more and more. I give me a Justice League movie right off the bat, I could give a shit if I watch a Flash, or a Wonder Woman, or a Green Lantern. I mean, I want to watch them. But I could just I would, I wouldn't want to be like oh I have to go see it right away you know what I mean? No, I hear you, but it's ballsy move, man. It's a ballsy move. I mean, kind of what it is is like I've always said before. This is a my dick's bigger than your contest. As right. in everything with fucking people with money in life, yeah. rich people. It's always oh look at my I, I got four uh-huh. butlers. How many do you, you know? got? So of course these guys at Warner Brothers. Are, are going to refuse to, like, fall... Oh, they're not. Fuck that. We're not doing We know it Marvel works, but it. we're not going to try it. We're, we're not gonna, doing that shit. Marvel did it. We're going to go for uh, something I mean, totally completely uh, different. 360. The rivalry doesn't... That's where it exists. People talk about how it doesn't exist. Oh, it exists. That, like, yeah, you know, every day. D- Marvel constantly slaps at DC with shit, like the variant Deadpool cover that's coming out. That's, yeah. uh, you know, it's stuff like that. Isn't it a 1 in 52, so there's another knock? Haha. Uh-huh. I think so. It's, you know, it's... But DC doesn't do stuff like that. Well, this is where they're doing it. They're like, okay, we're, we can't do that. We can't, bro. You know, it's, it's stupid, really. It really is stupid. Like I mentioned, you know, and a lot of fans will probably agree, DC and Warner rule but the Justice small screen. Justice League is, the, is the, the next movie after Batman vs. Superman. Wow. Uh, 2016, it says. May 2016. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It, no. I'm because, sorry. That's that, incorrect. That's Dawn of Justice. That's Batman vs. Superman. Justice League is 2017. A Shazam movie squeezed in between. Mm-hmm. Wow. Is there even a casting on a Shazam movie? I haven't heard shit about that. No, those are just the title announcements. There. Yeah. No. Sandman, Christmas 2016. Which one is that going to be? Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, but I mean, you know what? I'm not counting list, that. But as... don't just give me a fucking list. Well, you know, it's from, too soon for anything from, else. From uh, a, a hobby that gives you, you know, we know how our hobby is. We get promises of things constantly. And those promises a lot of times fall through. You like know, Kevin Smith yeah, riding the bullseye. Kevin Smith. Daredevil yeah, bullseye. Totally. <laughs> Superman, or I'm sorry, Spider Man Black Cat. That actually that ended up finishing. It, I, it did finish, but still it was delayed like hella long. Yeah, not as long as uh, Daredevil but bullseye. But there's a lot of that. I I can't name a bunch off of it, but there's, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things. Series get canceled right in the middle. Yeah. You know, you were reading it and it's gone. You never get to, that shit happens all the time. Right. So at this point, maybe it's a little cynical of me, but a list of fucking movies and dates, it doesn't really impress me. It's an ambitious list. Yeah. You know, if you want me to take the fan out of it and be objective, it's ambitious. Of course. And it's and I feel like what I said with the Marvel thing, it's totally like, boom, look at this. Right. right. Slam my nuts on the table, bitch. <laughs> Who's the man in the room? That's what it is. And that's kind of fucking stupid. Because in reality, they should just do it Marvel did. Fuck it. Yeah, we did what you did, now we're going to do it better. Yeah, totally. That's because, really, we talk about this almost every fucking time we talk about this shit. Every, almost every issue that we're together when we're talking about comics, it comes down to, at some point, somebody did what somebody did first. When, when, it, when we're talking about the Winter Soldier shit. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and, you know, Grayson. the Diana Prince. Yeah. <laughs> It, it all comes back to that. So why not just take the proven method and break in the cash, dude? Because it's there. Oh, yeah. So, I, I mean, it's... All right, so let's go down this list. It's a hot mess, man. So after Batman, Superman, what's Shazam. Next? We know nothing about that. Well, we're not going to know nothing about any of these movies but now. 
what Shazam are they going to do? Are they going to do the current Shazam? Yeah, they're going to have to. They're going to have to. Which he kind of sucks. Because that's the one that the, the I mean, I don't, current really, you know, because they're pushing the current books. Yeah, no, I so understand that's the one that, but to. they've really kind of, I, I like the new take on Shazam, but they pissed I think it'd be the mixture. Really I think the, the story probably be a classic story, Yeah, but the look will be current. Right. You know, I could see him wearing the white cape with the fucking hoodie. So you think he'll be a punk little kid that's... Yeah. I mean, that seems to be the hip thing to do to, to, today in yeah. all storytelling, is to have that badass that's really... I think they're going to make him, because the wasn't like wasn't the character handicapped No. in the original? No, that was... Oh, that's Captain Marvel Jr., yeah. right? Okay, never mind then. And then he eventually becomes Shazam, and Later. then the New 52 happened. Yeah, yeah. But whatever, we're not talking about that. The Sandman, again, like I said earlier, what are you going to get? I could care less. Are um, you going to get like the Golden Age version of Sandman, or are you going to get Neil Gaiman Sandman? Very true. Oh, they're going to go the Neil Gaiman route, definitely, yeah. hands down. But, but my, how does that really connect? It? See, that's the thing. That's the, what I was just going to say. It doesn't connect. So yeah. I think it's just them listing their movies, but that won't connect. They're just like, bitch, this is shit we're putting out. Unless they're going to try to fit it in to where they'll bring in the mystical element, you know, like... The, the, the Constantine or the Zatanna or the Justice League Dark kind of shit mm-hmm. and they decide Sandman is going to be that kind of outlet and it might they might tie in the movie Sandman to this DC universe you know if DC really had balls Animal Man and Swamp Thing Rot World bro hmm. I believe that Animal Man and Swamp Thing are primed to make movies into especially their new 52 arcs yeah and then go straight into a crossover movie with them Rot World because then you could really condense down Rot World and take the good elements that were good. Yeah. Because I'm not going to sit here. I, I was a fan of those two runs. I really like them. I liked yeah. Rot World. It was awesome. But there was a lot of it that I would have changed, you know? Yeah. I sit here and I'm like, I'm a, it was awesome. But there was, I could really break it down. But I'm, that's not what we're talking about. But that would be awesome. But never happened. I want a Swamp Thing film really bad. Never say Love never. Love that old school one. Never say never. Not that second one, though. Yeah. And the TV show was okay, but I was like. You're that. rambling. I know. Well, Sandman, though. It's, come on. Justice League. After Sandman? After Sandman. See, that's what I mean. They might be able to tie Sandman in. Maybe something happens in the mystical Sandman so universe, now, and he tears a hole through time and space for some reason, and then Darkseid shows up, and then he's got a... Sandman's responsible for putting the Justice League together. Boom! Warner, thank you. Check, please. Yeah, no, I don't really think that works, really. It's like Neil Gaiman, Sandman, bringing you the Justice League. Did you hear a word of what I said? No, I, I guess I didn't. Wow, man. Wow. <laughs> I thought you said Sandman. I did, but you didn't hear what I said about it? Like how it would tie in? Yeah, that he like... Yeah, I heard everything. So what does... But it, I just don't... Does it compute? For me, for some reason, I don't put Neil Gaiman Sandman in the DC Universe. You it's can't. Kind of like, you can't, but... It's, for being me, it that there are Warner happen. movies, it Yeah, might no, happen. I understand there are Warner movies. I'm it, saying it, it didn't might happen. happen. That was awesome. The look on your face where you thought that I had sat here <laughs> and just stared at my computer screen and not listened to a fucking word you said was priceless. <laughs> but no, I heard it all. I heard it all. So, okay, this Justice League movie. Now, you're going off the fact that they're cameoing a lot of these characters in Superman, Batman. Correct. You've got uh, Gail Gadot, Wonder Woman. I don't know if I've ever talked about I'm sure I have mentioned her before. I know I've mentioned her on Facebook. When she got cast, I've, you know, it's, I don't agree with it. Wrong. Wrong. I agree. Too small. She is too small, but like we were talking about um, before we started recording, it's all about those special camera angles. You yeah, no, know. fuck that. It's, you never know. No, they might get special, a camera angle where they need she, like, more she than looks special big. She's too skinny, man. Yeah, well, they this said is she's fucking Wonder up. Woman. No, I agree. She should have been you a fucking Amazon. You can't even Amazon. be like, oh, you know, well, Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow, and it, I don't give a fuck. Scarlett, that's Black a, Widow's that's not a, an Amazon. Yeah, that's a day. Exactly. She's supposed Gina to be Amazon. fucking Carano. Bottom line. I don't give a shit. Where do I know that name from? She's an MMA fighter. Okay, okay. She was in a Fast and the Furious movie. She's done a couple other movies. Isn't that the one that's training because she wants to be a wrestler? Hmm. No, that's Ronda Rossi. Never mind. Yeah, no, this chick was uh, MMA, dude. She's a badass. Gina Carano. Google her on your little phone over there you're playing with that you like touching so much. You think that's like one of those weird, you know... Innuendos? Yeah. Anyway. Man, look- we, okay, we both agree Gil Gadot sucks. Gil Gadot suck. Right? Just bad. Get someone else. I'm not saying that she will suck. I mean, obviously we're going to have to wait and see, and maybe they won't suck. And maybe the fact that we sit here and think that these people suck will make us like it a little more than we thought we would. Lex Luthor thing, I'm on the fence about, dude. You say no. How do you feel about Jeremy Irons as Alfred? 
Jeremy Irons. I know the name. Come on, Where's man. He Jeremy Irons. I think we probably talked about that before, too, though. Because didn't when they announced that Bat, Batfleck was happening, didn't they say Jeremy Irons was going to be Alfred? We've talked about this before. He's a good actor. He'll be good. Lawrence Fishburne, Perry White, yeah, whatever. Uh, well, that's really it. I don't see uh, any Green Lantern or anything like that. Oh, Cyborg. That's right. They've got Ray Fisher here. It's Victor Stone slash Cyborg. So apparently they're planning on introducing Cyborg in this movie. Yep. In that, or he'll be in the Justice League movie, I'm assuming. I'm saying. Yeah, Batman's yeah, but they'll introduce him now. In Batman vs. Superman. B vs. S. Yeah. <laughs> As I like to call it. BS. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so you've got these people. Obviously they're going to throw more people in there. Who are they going to get for Flash? Are they going to use your Green Lantern? Obviously, they're not going to go the Martian Manhunter route because they've got Cyborg. Um, I don't know, man. They, I guess I don't, I'm not sure that they really have too many people cast for the movie. I've heard rumors that that Jason Momoa will be Aquaman. They, I, I, like I thought Game I Jones, read Carl Drogo. Yeah, I thought I read uh, not as good as Alf Conan. Ah. I thought I read somewhere that he was a, it was official that he was cast. Was it official? I thought I read that. Don't, I just saw him on Jimmy Kimmel and he played it off like it was a rumor, but it seems to me like it could be a possibility. Um, you've probably never seen I don't know if he'll be a good Aquaman, but whatever, man. I guess the guy was on, on Baywatch, so... Was he? Yeah. When he was younger, well, obviously. Baywatch hasn't been out for a long time. Let's see what we got next. After Just League, you got Wonder Woman. So, like I said, Gil Gadot doesn't work for me. She doesn't. She's too thin. I don't care if she has good acting skills or not. It's just she's not Wonder Woman. You need a stockier woman, someone tall, someone beefy, someone. Google Gina Carano right now. Do it. Do I have to? Yes. Um, who am I googling? Gina Carano. So Google Gina Carano. We'll come yeah. back and talk about Wonder Woman. Carano. And then let's see. Then they got a Flash and Green Lantern team up, planned for Christmas. Oh yeah, hers. Uh, awesome. Wonder Woman. Yeah. Yeah, I could totally see it. She'd be awesome, dude. I could totally see it. People she looks like... You, this is kind of a feminine question, I suppose. Did you ever watch The O.C.? No. Fucking love that show. Rachel Bilson. Okay. This kind of looks like a swole version of her. Uh... No? I don't think so. Do I have to Google Rachel Bilson now? She's no, got you, thinner you don't, because I, I, I know who she is. She's got thinner I lips. just am more a fan of... I'm a, I'm a Gina Carano fan, dude. I, I can see why. Fight. The girl whoops ass. Okay? So the girl has won my heart as the fucking role of Wonder Woman <laughs> because I've watched her beat the shit out of other women. Well, you know what? When you say that like that, it really makes a lot of sense. Like, what the fuck? Like, if I was the director of this fucking hot mess that's going to be Batman versus Superman, I like BS. It. I love how you I'm, look at it that way. I'm now referring to it for the rest of the, the show as BS. Okay. That, that would have been like the given. Right. Oh, we're going to throw one over cameo? Oh, it's, dude, Gina Carano. Oh, it's just cameo? It's just having to be in speaking lines? Or you're just going to see her, like, in passing, like, on TV or something? Something stupid. Because you never know. They could do something like that. They could be smart and do an amazing Spider-Man. Maybe that's what they're thinking, you know what I mean? Right. By having all these guys in here. But she'd be great. Like I said, Flash, Green Lantern team up for Christmas. Like I was saying to you before we started recording, man. Brave and bold. Brave and the bold yep. would be the shiz. That would be awesome. Maybe they might add that on as a tagline. You know, Green, Green Lantern, Flash, Brave and the Bold. Yeah, totally. You know? That could be the movie. Who would you cast as a Flash? <sighs> would you Would you go the Ryan Reynolds route? You would? Yeah, so would I. If this is how fucked up, but if it's the right universe, I'd be like, hey, dude. Hey, they did it with Chris Evans? But then I don't know, because the Barry Allen f- Flash isn't really... Yeah, what do you, what, what, which way do you think they'd go with as it? It's humorous. It's like they'd... the Wally West. No, they'd go Barry Allen. They're not going to push Wally West now, especially now that he's a little... Was he Puerto Rican or black or whatever? I don't know. He's he's a different race now. He's Is not, he? He's not a little ginger yet, no. Yeah, you didn't know that? <laughs> he's not a little ginger. He's not a little ginger anymore. <laughs> he doesn't have gingivitis. You're such a racist prick. I, I, I'm not racist at all. I'm not at all. I love everybody. Man, I still too 2018. Who Would you even care about? at that point? No. How long of a gap is that between Man of Steel and Man of Steel 2? Regardless uh, of it's a year, two years. Two no, years. No. Yeah. More than two years. When is that movie? 2016 to 2018. Man of Steel. Two years. Not Batman Superman. For, oh, from Man of Steel. Yeah, oh, from yeah, Man of a Steel long fucking time. to Man of Steel 2. Do I really care about Superman? No, not really. At that point, you wouldn't. This is like we said back in the beginning. It's Superman that, Overload. So, 
So ultimately, our feelings on this are final thoughts, Junior, on the list. Wait and see. Yeah. Wait and see, man. Like you said, they they might be able to pull a rabbit out of the hat. They they could. I I am of the of of the opinion that they should just go with the tried and true. But I mean, if they want to try something different and it works, good for them. I mean, I'm not going to say other movies are flop because the last one they made was Man of Steel, and I really liked it. Yeah, I like Man of Steel. There's a lot of it's hate just, for Man of Steel, and I, I don't get it. I it's think it's just, stupid. I think it's stupid Marvel fanboys is what it is. Um, there's just a lot of bashing because of the casting choices and everybody, the fans really not knowing what's going on with Batman and Superman. Right. So I could understand it. I mean, I'm one of those guys. It's like, fuck that shit. I don't want to see it. We got to just kind of to the side, man. Wait and see what happens. It's, really yeah. Good. But I will say it's opening the same day as Captain America uh, 3. So um, which one do you think I want to go see? I'm going to go watch Captain America 3. And is then I'll open? watch Batman Superman. Yeah. That's really stupid. They moved their date. Yep. Bad move. Bad move. Warner Brothers DC. But yeah, you know, super, like you said with the Superman movie, people not wanting to see it, not being interested after all that stuff. You could do like Superman Brainiac and tie it off something. You could go a completely different direction with the Superman. They could. When you do the standalone movies. They could. And then bring them back together for like Justice Leagues or whatever. But uh, it's, it's a wait and see. But I think a lot of the casting sucks. Gina Carano, man. Wonder Woman. If you don't know who she is, Google some of her fights. I know she's not the best women's ever, but the bitch just beat some ass. Respect. Gina Carano. Wonder Woman. That's what I want. All right. Apparently. This Gal Gadot stuff just is... Ugh. It's a headache, dude. <laughs> Wonder Woman is not fucking 115 pounds, dude. She's not. She was when she was like she's six. She's like six foot four. Even though Gina Carano is not six foot four, she's like five eight, five nine. But she's like 145, 150 She's still pounds. whip our ass. Boom, she's big. That's what you need. Just cut. I mean, shit, if they could find some chick out there that was like 6'2". Yeah. And just like athletic as all hell, I'd be for it, man. Dude, totally random question. Just, just gotta be up. that way. Have you seen the Spider-Man Hot Wheels that are at Walmart? I have. Have you seen number eight? I have fucking No, black. actually, I haven't. I've seen pictures of them on Facebook. Black costume. I That's the only one I fucking need. I want need. some. And that's supposed but to be like one in every like two cases. I can't find anything. I cannot find that one anywhere. It's so anyway, twenty dollars right now. In closing on the DC thing, we'll just wait and see. But at this yeah. point, I'm not excited about it. Nobody is. I'm much more excited about what we'll be talking about in our next issue of the Spinner Rack. Our, uh, well, I'm just gonna call it a Marvel movie retrospective, where we're gonna break down some of the Marvel movies as they came out when Marvel in, in its movie infancy. To its creation of its own Marvel films and the, you know, Marvel films as we know them. Right, right. Outside of your Sony's. Hasselhoff, Nick Fury. Hasselhoff, Nick Fury. I don't think that counts. <laughs> and we'll leave the fans with that. As it's always, check out what to do. Comicsremix.com. Until next week. Peace. Peace.